The real estate sector contributes about 9% to the gross domestic product. Last year, the construction and real estate industry had the greatest growth at 14.1% compared to 10.1% and 7.1% for financial services and agriculture sectors, respectively. The real estate is therefore among sectors driving the country's economy. <laughs> Riding on this, Fusion Capital has launched the Fusion Development Real Estate Investment Trust that seeks to raise 1.4 billion shillings to finance construction of the Greenwood City project in Miru County. It is 100 million units, each unit at 23 shillings, and we want to raise 2.3. 800 already has been raised. We are raising today 1.4. And the debt, we are raising 1.4 billion North Kenya shillings to complete the whole project. The 3.7 shillings project will comprise of a shopping mall, an office block and apartments. This is the biggest private investment in Meru uh, ever. Housing Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni urged other farms to borrow a leaf and invest in other parts of the country to drive the devolution process. The government is not committed to devolution. Better think twice. Because you have seen the innumerable benefits that accrue from this process. Even the other one, the likes of Senator Kerai to think of making Meru great, it's because they believe in the innumerable advantages that accrue from this devolution process. So let us support it. He says public-private partnership is the only way to meet the over 200,000 housing gap in the country. Rates bring a raft of new and regretted opportunities into this very important estate sector, which because of its capital-intensive nature has, several, has been a preserve of the rich. And we are saying from now on, it should not be the case, a preserve of the rich. Mama Wanjiko must be accounted for here, must be incorporated, if you will. The CS called on the private sector to build decent and affordable houses. Fusion D-rate offer is restricted to professional investors and fund managers who are able to evaluate the level of risk they are taking when they buy into the project.